It's an investment for them. It's not just another class. They're doing well. They're showing improvement in their social studies, in their science, in their ELA classes. And that's what I see across the board. We're seeing students who are making great gains. This group of kids, when I first got them, they were very low. When we went from negative, and now my kids are scoring in the five and six hundreds, it tells me that the program works. We were looking for another program for our students that was more engaging, that had more components of reading. This is such an easy program where I can do small group with books and have my students be on the computers and it's an easy transition to switch. The word training really allows for differentiation. Students are able to work at their own pace. I'm able to monitor every single student. They're filling in the gaps they missed in elementary school, and that was something I was not able to do prior to this program. If one student doesn't get blends, the other student doesn't have to work on blends, and we don't have to spend weeks on blends because student A doesn't get it. They're able to work at their own pace and nobody knows what level they're on. Nobody knows if they're struggling, if they're not. When you're in eighth grade, it might be a little insulting that this component of word training has to be taught to you. Having the avatar and having the kids that are their age group speaking to them and teaching them on the computer was complete buy-in. They're not struggling anymore in the area of decoding and fluency. You know, they're really starting to move, which will help with their comprehension. The text training allows us to practice pre-reading, close reading, re-reading, guided highlighting on what we read already twice. We're doing more of what they're doing in the general education setting, so the kids feel like they're doing more of what they should be doing with their grade level. They're completely getting the story, and they're getting the greater picture and the bigger ideas, and they're seeing how it all ties together. Let's say if Mr. Frank and Van Dance came here, it would have been peculiar because they never seen any kind of devices. Oh, the, the, I like that you flipped the question. I love that they read the text three times. I think it's phenomenal. And it's so funny if we ever do a novel outside of the curriculum, they actually demand that I create a close reading because they so enjoy being able to look at the text on that level. The kids love the stories. Um, I work at a high poverty school where some of the themes they're actually living in their you know, the housing projects and just with their families and everything that they see. And we really get to break it down with the reading strategies and it's helping them. What can we infer? Why is Pony Boy reading this love novel to John? Because he can't read. He can't read. I think it's really good too that writing is integrated. There's casual pieces, but then also very structured writing prompts. That's been very helpful this year. And they're prompted to write it's very guided and it goes with the reading. We've been talking about the reading, we've been talking about the questions, instead of just trying to get strategies from all over the place. Language Live has strategies for almost everything. We're using it with our students who are having, um, our students are, of course who have IEPs, and those students who are having the deficits in their areas of reading. We have a lot of tier two in there. We're pretty much starting to put a lot more in there. Um, just because of the engagement of the text and the strategies that they're using and the ability for them to comprehend these texts. We do the same reading strategies over and over again and they're independently taking them into their social studies and their science and their other classes. And the fact that that travels with them to their academic classes where they're having to struggle with text that's very complex, it, it helps them out a lot. And the social studies teacher, the eighth grade social studies teacher, said that the kids are starting to ask for highlighters to do the close reading with their articles. We've had a couple instances in some of our schools where our ELA teacher has come in and watched the language live and picked up on some of those strategies. So not only is it teaching our MRT and our students, it's teaching the classroom teacher things that she could use with all her students. What two words of our vocabulary did he use, gentlemen? I am very excited about the benchmark scores. I, we are seeing increases in our students' skills. 100% of the students who participated in the Language Live program have seen significant growth. We really look at those Lexile levels especially. We're seeing 200 to 400 to 500 point gains in that area. So. That is especially helpful to us. When you have non-readers and you give them a program that they enjoy and they don't mind working and you can see the growth in them, I mean, the sky's the limit. These kids can really go. Farmers can also soak into the land. What is very as exciting is that I have three seventh graders that are going to be exiting the program. Um, and you want to see that. So it's building that confidence for them 
that were at 16, they kind of felt like a failure. I can't do it, I can't go to high school. And now they have the success and they can do it and they know they can do it now. So they're starting off small, but they're becoming independent thinkers with it, which is amazing.